What's going on, guys? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream to start. Those of you catching the replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So just apologies ahead of time. I'm having to use the hotspot on my phone. So bandwidth trouble may arise randomly throughout this stream. I don't even have YouTube open. I just have StreamYard and the window for Parfumo. We're doing a box full of random decants. I got 15 in there. We're going to pick five at random. We'll get to that in a minute. But point being, uh, apparently a construction worker had a terrible accident in front of the block over here. And nobody's got internet. And it's been all day. It happened early this morning. And I'm not getting internet today. So I'm having to use my hotspot. That's going to be real fun for when I upload my videos later. Yeah, it's gonna, those are a couple of gigs uh, for the files. That's going to be fun to upload tomorrow's content on YouTube. That's going to be fun. So we're going to try to power through this because I almost canceled this because I know it's not going to be. It won't go off without a hiccup more than likely, but we'll power through it. I appreciate you guys being here. So today's scent choice, though. Aqua de Jo Parfum, the very underappreciated fragrance. I think it's great. I thought it was a really good release in the line last year. I'm a fan. I got five sprays around the neck. After I went downstairs, take care of something real quick, came back. Wife said it was lingering in the living room, still hanging out in the living room. And I was outside for about 10 minutes. So, I mean, it, I had only had it on for 10 to 15 minutes. So it was at its strongest Potent stuff, though. Uh, compared to Profumo, it's less incense. It's fresher. You get more rosemary, more of that green spice. It's it's better for the summer than Profumo, I would say. I don't think it's better than Profumo, but I think if Profumo got phased out, I'm happy with what replaced it. I am. I think it's a good fragrance. Come at me, bro. You know? So let's get caught up in the chat. We'll wait till around the 10-minute mark. So let me go over what we're doing today. I picked out 15 random decants of stuff I haven't smelled before. This has been sent from various number of people. We've got a Montal fragrance. We've got Zerzhoff Groove Escape. We've got Aaron Terrence Hughes Fake. We've got Aaron Terrence Hughes Daddy, I believe, is in there. We've got something Kicks Griffey sent that's in here. Um, Tom Ford, two different Tom Fords. We've got a variety of stuff. So there's a – oh, and it turns out I had Burning Barbershop this whole time. Somebody sent me a decan. So we're finally – hopefully – that ends up being one that gets picked because I'm just going to shake them around, grab one, and whatever it is it is, we'll do five of them today. We'll do these 15 sporadically. We'll do one decant stream a week for the next three weeks is basically what it'll come down to. So let's get caught up in the chat. I see we've got 80 people quick, fast, and in a hurry. If you don't mind, hit that thumbs up on the way in. It does help because I won't be able to keep track of it. I don't have YouTube open. Good to see you, sir. Aventus Cologne. That's my favorite Creed fragrance. Excellent choice. How many of you bought some stuff from Fragrance Bot this morning? I sure did. I bought four fragrances. Kenzo Ohm Marine. Uh, Virtus Bois et Cui, I believe is how you say that. Kind of their Aventus. I blame Jason Vercher for bringing that to our attention last night on Dedrick Stream. Dedrick bought it last night. I also bought, I bought four fragrances. What else did I buy? Drawing a blank here. Oh, Toy 2 Pearl. I ended up grabbing that. And Musk Imperial from Atelier Cologne. They finally got that back in stock. I've been waiting to get that. That's Atelier Cologne's Aventus. I basically bought two niche fragrances that are that brand's Aventus. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I like getting these niche brands, their version of Aventus. I like grabbing that because it's always some new twist that makes it their own. Because there's an argument for that being the greatest DNA of all time. It's been manipulated so many different ways by so many different people. And I've never come across a bad smelling twist. So I'm eager to check those out. So that's the four fragrances I bought this morning. Shout out to Zelly, Legend ADP, and Shiaka. Good to see you, Joel. Good to see you, Scott. How are you, sir? Savage Parfum, my favorite version of Savage. Oh, damn. It's inevitable. They get, they get everybody at some point, Jay. Latafa Oud Mood. Boss the Scent Elixir. Great choice. Great, great choice. Angel Share, speaking of great choices, good to see you, Neil. Kix Griffey, what's going on, my man? Dior on Parfum, one of the greatest fragrances of all time, in my opinion. I would believe it's Kix Griffey approved, for sure. Manny, good to see you. Sir Polo 67, I have a bottle coming my way, hopefully soon. The brand did reach out, ask if I was interested in checking it out, so of course I am. I love Ralph Lauren, and I'm sure it's going to be good. I don't think it'll be great. Most of the fragrances aren't great. Oh, my God, amazing, but they're always pretty good. That's that's what I can count on, Ralph Lauren. Their fragrances are usually pretty good. So let's see. Ethan, good to see you. Coach for men. B. 
beautiful fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. Very synthetic, but smells great. Bentley for Men, the original Noel. Great choice. Kevin, good to see you, sir. Climatics in the house. Or should I say hashtag Riddlers, insert fragrance by that CA. Yeah, it was good to see everybody uh, jumping in on that because I definitely did as well. I did the buy one, get one 30% off. I did the Easter egg hunt in the first 30 minutes. It took me about, uh, I mean, first two hours. It took me, because I was back and forth doing it because I was taking care of some stuff before the gym this morning when the video went live. And um, over the span of an hour, I ended up gathering everything. And obviously everybody in the in the comment section was all helping each other along the way. And uh, the code is there. It's in the chat, in the uh, comment section of the video for any of you who want to check it out. Because obviously it's not buy one, get one 30 anymore. That was the first two hours. I think we're at the point to where it's buy one, get one 20% now, all the way till April 10th. So go check out my video from this morning for the Fragrance Buy Easter Egg Hunt and uh, check the comments if you're looking for the code. Because I don't remember what it is, but it's in the comments. Excellent choice, Clinton, if I do say so myself. John, good to see you. Never tried it. It's an Irish fragrance, so I'm going to assume it's good. Seth, good to see you, sir. Just got done with the gym. Hell yeah. City Rhythm Miami Tropical Confessions. Great choice. Got four more. So uh, the new Barcelona, Niles texted me earlier. He's He put it in the mail today. Barcelona's heading my way, so I'm going to get to check it out. And he sent me a picture of the card, so I'm not going to go blind. But red wine, sparkling wine, blood orange, passion fruit. Interesting looking note breakdown. I was like, all right, you got you got a shot at a real banger here, Niles. So I'm pretty eager to check out Barcelona. I mean, any of you that have tried City Rhythm Fragrances, man puts out some good stuff. So incoming in the next week will be uh we'll probably have a video. I don't know if it'll be live stream or not. It'd be a, either a live stream or a long form video checking out the new Barcelona from City Rhythm. Orage, great choice. Jeremiah, we've got a few decans from you in here today. Good to see you, sir. Well, thank you. I, uh, I'm nine weeks out, still trimming and slimming. I was 185.9 for check-in this morning, which I haven't heard back from my coach yet because NPC Bayou Muscle is going on this weekend. They got weigh-ins and all the good shit going on today. So Lacey's at the event. She's got a bunch of people com competing. So I knew I wasn't going to hear back from her right away. I probably won't hear back from her till tonight. Um, fingers crossed I get a high-carb day tomorrow. So I'm getting them like every 10 days. So... Um, but yeah, we're, we're on a good pace. We're on a good pace. We're getting there. Abs are starting to come in more and more. Obviously the stubborn fat on the sides is there's some hanging on for dear life. And I'm going to have some, I already have some loose skin, but I'm going to have some loose skin to deal with because I was overweight before. So, but it's getting there. It's coming together little by little. Thank you, Jeremiah. <coughs> Whoops. Philosophia. Nice rainy day. DWJ. Good to see you. Hoffman. Always a pleasure. Caught something nasty on my trip back from Japan, and I'm trying to recover well. I hope you feel better soon, my man. Ooh, Tigar. Great choice. You damn sure can't go wrong with that. I need help. Signature Pour Home or Mephisto. Ooh, Mephisto. Ooh, no, you can rock. Yeah, definitely Signature Pour Home then. Yeah, because that's not hot. If it was warmer, I would have said Mephisto. Nice and, you know, comfortable day in the 70s. Go, go with Signature Pour Home. Birthday party at a restaurant. Well, yeah, signature pour. That's what I would do in it. Between those two. Now, if it was like 10 or 15 degrees hotter, I would have said Mephisto. So far, looks good. Kalen, good to see you, sir. Town and country from Clyde Christian. Um, my least favorite. It's a running joke on this channel. Apparently, you've never seen any of my worst of or regret videos or any of that because you would know the answer to this question is uh, Cuba Prestige Black. Not too many fragrances I've ever come across as just smell like just cheap shit to me. That smells like the cheapest shit on the planet to me. And I apologize if that offends anybody that does like that Cuba fragrance. I think it smells, it's, I just don't like it at all. <laughs> I just don't like it. And it's a meme now. So like when I, on because it's been years, I've, I've talked about it like the first like month I had this channel. And every time I come across it at the rack stores, if you watch my rack store video, you see me give it an aggressive thumbs down. It's always at raw stress for less, an aggressive thumbs down. So, knock on wood. Good. Because I left it on 1080p. Now, it's obviously not going to stream at 1080p the whole time. The resolution will drop and raise, but I'll let it peak when it can peak, you know. Good to see you, sir. Hachivat, can't go wrong there. My man, ATH Daddy again. You've been enjoying the hell out of some Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances. We're probably gonna we're I got like three or four from Aaron Terrence Hughes in here. We're bound to pull one. 
Lafayette Street and Vibrato in the rotation now. Good to see you, sir. Wearing Neo, great green fragrance. Reserve Privé, I mean, there's an argument for that being the best in that line. Royal Stallion smells in the realm of Pegasus. I like this video idea. Yeah, we just kind of came up with it right at the end of the stream yesterday because I was kind of tossing around ideas on what to do today. And it was like, all right, we're going to pick five, but I'm going to throw three times that amount in a box, which I, I put all of these in here. It's not like I don't know what's in here. I don't remember everything that's in here. And they're different shapes and sizes and all that other good stuff. But we'll shake it around. We'll just reach in and grab something. and Whatever it is, we'll smell, which uh, we're about that about at that point. So let me let me find a good stopping point. The king of the Super Chat has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Gia for Men by Gia Luca. Never heard of that when you stumped me today. You're actually wearing something I've never heard of. But I sure appreciate the Super Chat, my man. I hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Happy Good Friday. I have indeed. I have indeed. I've been uh, been cutting for a competition in June, two competitions in June. I got, I'm nine weeks out from the show. We started cutting at 20 weeks since it's my first, uh, first time cutting for a competition. So welcome back to the channel because <laughs> we talk about it daily. <laughs> so I, I don't think you've been here for a little while because, yeah, that's like we talk about it pretty often. Not all the time in the stream, but somebody ends up asking pretty much every stream, which I appreciate because it is like a huge part of my life every day now. The way I have to eat and I train twice a day because I got fasted cardio in the morning seven days a week. It's it's a thing, you know, it's a hefty commitment. But I appreciate you, sir. Never tried it. It is really good, but I got to tell you, I'm really digging the original because it opens up a little Invictus Platinum and dries down Coach for Men. I, I like it a lot. I wore it this past week. It'll be in the week of rotation. Great choice. Yeah, I've had this for years, actually. This is a Mitchell and Ness hat. One of the rare instances that I have a Mitchell and Ness hat that doesn't look crazy on me. They're usually really, really high crown, which this is a higher crown, but not as bad as some other Mitchell and Ness ones I have. Ooh, jealous. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. And as far as the Zanzibar, I saw a Zanzibar question. Uh, my opinion on it is I'm going to be wearing it tomorrow to the beach. And I do have a full review if you want to check it out. Anytime you're curious about my opinion on something, type TLTG and the name of the fragrance in the search bar. And if I've mentioned it in a video, those that video or videos will come up in search. Use that search bar. It is your friend, sir. Thumbnail. Haha. <laughs> What's good, fam? Hey, yeah, so I, I that's from uh, the Rack Store video of me doing that, like all excited. I was like, ah, that. That goes with the mystery box. Let's do that shit. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. Good to see you, Randy. Put my hand, kind of put my arm over it, shake them up a little bit, move that there. And we have Clive Christian, Queen Anne. It's a rock rose, a perfume of noble birth from the Noble Collection. All right, show you guys what the label says on the decant once I get it to focus. There we go. This is, I believe, one that came in the box from Jeremiah. I don't know. Since we're doing a bunch of random stuff, we're going test strips. And no, unless something compels me, I'm not going on skin. I'm not saying there's a guarantee that I won't go on skin, but I don't plan on it. So based on it saying rock rose on it, I'm assuming this is a rose fragrance. Haven't spent too much time with uh, anything Clive Christian, so color me intrigued. Ooh, that doesn't come across feminine at all. It's a very spicy rose. Spicy woodsy rose, but not smoky or anything. Like It doesn't come across dark and resinous. Ooh, that's good. Okay, this is my kind of style right here. We're starting off hot. Because I've never even heard of this fragrance from them. Damn, it's good. There's not much in the in the decant, but I mean, there's more than enough for me to sample. It's nice and spicy, woodsy. It's even a little juicy. Something in there making it a bit juicy. My mouth's actually watering. I have to swallow. It's weird. It doesn't come across feminine on the test strip. On skin, it'll open up more. It'll tell me a better story. But what I get right here on the test strip is quite compelling, actually. 
it doesn't remind me of a specific fragrance, but there's also, it seems familiar at the same time. Definitely comment in the chat. Have you tried this before? I don't know what the exact name of the fragrance is. Is it number seven, Rome, uh, Roman numeral seven, Queen Anne? Or is it Rock Rose? Is it just telling me it's centered around Rock Rose and the name of the fragrance is seven, Queen Anne? I, I don't know. But damn, is it good? I mean, damn, is it good? Let's try Queen Anne first. No, it says that's not it. Let's try seven. Noble seven rock rose. Okay, that's it. So that's the one. 8.1 out of 10. Yeah, I don't I don't blame them. It's a men's rose. Spicy. Yep. Floral. Fresh. Woody. Green. The only thing I haven't picked up so far is something green. Apparently it's not coming across on the paper, but I agree with all of these. Black pepper, bergamot, neroli, clary sage, cistus, lavender, violet, amber, vetiver, patchouli, cocoa. Don't they don't list the rock rose, but I mean I would assume it's in there. It's named rock rose, for God's sakes. This is great. This is great. Like I'm super impressed by this one. It's quite fresh. Like, I'm not surprised to see fresh as a main accord. It's actually very fresh. It's airy, but a little watery. And it's kind of a juiciness. Whoops. There's kind of a juiciness to this. And I, it's crazy to think that it could only be bergamot. Again, it's on a test strip, so who knows exactly how it would open up with my skin chemistry. But it's a nice, fresh, spicy rosy type of fragrance there's some other florals here. Um, obviously you got neroli violet and lavender it's so fresh and spicy though it's very captivating we're starting off hot here because it's like an 8.5 out of 10 this is great like i'm pretty much in line with the ratings it has on here they got 8.1 out of 10 with 115 people rating the fragrance it's a damn good average for having over 100 ratings. This is impressive. I bet it's expensive as hell, too. It's so smooth. Aromatic, airy, vibrant. I don't find it feminine at all, but it's clearly floral. 8.5 out of 10. Noble 7 Rock Rose. This might be full bottle worthy here. It's gonna be pricey. Mm, that's the down. That's the downside. It's gonna be expensive. Just out of curiosity. Let's see if they got it in stock. They do. Not too crazy. Well. A 50 ml, it showed 183, so it is sold out. But 50 ml was 183, what popped up. But man, I'm maybe at some point because this is captivating. I like it a lot. Yeah, we're going to go 8.5 with Clive Christian Noble 7 Rock Rose. It's fantastic. That one is absolutely fantastic. Let me skip ahead a little bit and see. What anybody had to say if anybody's tried this one here we go I had a copper bottle after smelling it that's kind of how i feel right now like kind of feel like i i want this because it's not like i have much here like it's enough to get a taste there's enough to get a little taste of it and it's a it's a sultry one it makes you want more gotta say it is good. This is one of the best rose fragrances I've ever smelled. This is better than Lyric Man. And Lyric Man's like top five for me. Man, this is really good. I might have to, I have to pull a trigger on a bottle of that. All right, let's just grab something. Tom Ford Fougere d'Argent, a personal favorite of Justin Copeland. 
And we have more than enough to get a taste. I'm going to go out on a limb here. And I'm going to say this is a fougere. Call me crazy. I got a hunch. It's a crazy hunch. Pit of my stomach's telling me it's an aromatic fougere profile. I wonder why I'm thinking that. Ooh, very creamy. Creamy aromatic. It's a creamy aromatic citrus barbershop. Quality's good, though. It's got that after, spicy aftershave smell to it, but a little creamier than just an aftershave splash. This is fresh, clean, shaved. Oxford thrown on. Nice watch. Going to meet the lady for dinner. It's fresh, clean, timeless, mature, masculine. Yeah, I can see why Justin likes this. This is his style. He likes he likes these particular fougeres. Whew, that's good. Very much aftershave smell. Like this is now a lot of you know at the barbers. That's my all time favorite of this profile, but this this fights it. This puts up a fight, and just on test strip, this is this puts up a fight. This because it kind of reminds me of it, but. This actually smells a little bit more complex. This would be dated for some younger fellas. I don't think a lot of younger men would like this. Probably remind them of their dad or the grandpa, the old man smell, as people would like to call it. I think this is classy. This is true masculine profile right here. This is a true masculine profile. It's damn good. Let's pull up these notes. With RTs, 8.1 out of 10 with 228 ratings. Another highly rated fragrance. Fougere. Yeah, no shit. Spicy. Absolutely. Woody, sweet green. Akigala wood, coumarin. Loads of it, too. And lavender. Creamy type of lavender. And it's probably the ginger making it creamy. For as spicy as it is, outside of ginger, I don't see a spicy note. It comes across a little peppery to me. Very lavender heavy, though, and it's a creamy lavender. I mean, super lavender heavy. Kind of like a, I am reminded a bit of Lavande from um, Molinard, but this is spicier than that. Like as far as the, the way the creaminess of this lavender comes across and the dominance of lavender kind of reminds me of Lavande. Not Lavender Extreme from Tom Ford. That's fresher and, air, and more airy. Because Levon smells closer to Lavender Extreme. But I, I feel like it's kind of in between Lavender Extreme. Because there's more earthiness to Levon than Lavender Extreme. So I feel like this Levon falls in between Fougère d'Argent. This and Tom Ford Lavender Extreme. So I guess the more affordable kind of happy medium between those two Tom Fords would be Levant because it is kind of reminding me of it a bit. And that also gives it an 8.5 out of 10 because I like these extremely classy lavender aromatics. It's timeless. It works for everything. can be a little cloying and super high heat because heavy lavender can choke you out. It can. Even quality lavender oil, it, it'll choke you out. If you overspray it, I spray too much up front. Yeah, it's back to back 8.5s. Now, I don't feel like I need a bottle of this because I already mentioned something that reminds me of that I have. While not exactly the same, but they're pretty, they're birds of a feather, I feel, anyways. But I totally get why Justin likes this one so much because there was a stretch when he was wearing it a lot not long ago, a few months back. Yeah. We're back to back 8.5s out of 10, Fougère d'Argent. I mean, we're at a pretty good pace. We might end up doing more than five. I keep hearing that. I think Kalen is a big fan of that one as well. Not as rosy as the name implies. No, it's really not. It really pushes off the skin. Okay, yeah, a lot of these are. Like uh, one of those boxes from you, I grabbed a few out of there.
I'm fighting the urge, man. I actually haven't had the urge to spray on skin yet. Passed on it. Now, I like it. Now, look up the price. Okay, now I know where I'm at in the chat. Yeah, it's quite good. Good to see you, sir. Encre Noir, I like Strim. Great choice. Must be a muggy day. Excellent choice. I'm actually wearing the Parfum myself. Let's see. Let me scroll down here a little bit. No, no, no. I just need a, a couple of sprays. Don't apologize. You Look, you went overboard with all the stuff you sent me. <laughs> Last thing you need to do is apologize for a juice level when you sent me like 50 freaking samples and decans. Don't sweat it. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunities to have more content and to try more things. Lyric Man's kind of fallen down a notch. I think this jumps Lyric Man. Noble 7 Rock Rose, I very much like it. It cut out for me. What is this one? Uh, well, I mentioned it a couple of times. I'm sure you heard me say Fougère d'Argent. Oh, damn. See, that's, that's pretty nice. A lot of people seem to like Bois Imperial. Noted. What's going on, MG? Good to see you. Never heard of it. Oh, it's a channel. Goldie Smell Good. Never. I'm at the point to where if I'm not already friends with you, you ain't getting on my channel and I'm not getting on yours. I'm at that point now. <laughs> like me and this person would have to like make friends off camera for a while because I'm at that point. I'm at that point. Like it's there has to be an existing friendship and not just an online acquaintance kind of thing for for me to go on somebody's channel or for me for somebody to be on my channel. That's pretty much where I'm at at this point. This community's jaded me a lot, fellas. You know. So anybody you see on my channel moving forward, there's an actual friendship there. Or if you see me on said somebody else's channel, we're at least kind of friends and or really good friends somewhere but it would be someone i consider a friend so that's how you got to kind of look at it he sure did he sure did. oh he's sending me a decan of a uh, blue talisman by the way so i'm getting to try that finally pretty excited he does love fougeres these are both really good so far dolce gabbana the one gold so botajour is much spicier Way more green and spicy. That's more, I think that's more of a fougere, actually. Whereas I think um, fougere d'argent, I know it's listed fougere as the main accord, but on paper, heavy lavender aromatic. Like, aromatic would be number one for me. Very aromatic. Now, again, it's not on skin. It would probably open up so much more. I'm sure there's a beautiful story to tell once it's on skin, but... It smells great on a test strip. Very lavender heavy. So that's kind of how I look at it. Whereas I don't get as much. I get more greens and spices out of Beau de Jour, which is great. I've been meaning to get a bottle forever. I, my decant's been out for years. Just like with Ombre Leather and Ombre Leather Parfum. Took me forever to finally get bottles of those. Just got those. It's a bit linear, so what you smell is mostly what you can explore. Well, that's a good thing because the opening smells great. Roy, good to see you, sir. Golden Mocha. First Instinct Blue, excited for SmackDown tonight. Hell yeah, me too. Me too. Anybody following The Rock on Instagram, he showed some behind the scenes and different angles that were recorded on different cameras and stuff, like when they stopped rolling. That was great. That It's been great lately, man. Monday and Wednesday. Monday, we're doing the Night One stream. WrestleMania Night One preview show. Sports Desk Live. Subscribe to Sports Desk Live. Me and my tag team partner in the FWO, Dedrick. And then Wednesday night. So it's going to be 6 Central both nights. And then Wednesday night, we're going to preview night two. In the pit of my stomach, I feel like Roman Reigns is going to retain. It's in the pit of my stomach. I just feel like they're going to do it because everybody's convinced Cody's taking the belt. The pit of my stomach's telling me Roman Reigns is going to win. So we'll see. We'll see when the time comes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, Darren? We're close. We're close. I'm wearing the parfum. <laughs> close. Beaujour is good stuff. That's for sure. Uh, I pulled the cap on it and sniffed on it the other day. Like even stuff I don't wear because it's so much great stuff I have that I don't get to because I'm always getting new stuff and wearing new stuff. 
Um, I still pull the cap and sniff it all the time. That and Honor and Glory, those they're still amazing. I still have high, high nine out of ten ratings, hold strong, high appreciation for those fragrances. Super high appreciation for them. I figured you'd like that, Terrence. I got the same feeling. It's a wonderful time to be a fan, but my hand is not quite big enough. Well, I mean, we might be all right. I don't want to risk anything flying out. What do we have here? Lucky me, DS and Durga, Burning Barbershop. Been wanting to try it, so here we go. Pull the tape. Roll the tape. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Let's see what we got here. Now, I know it's supposed to smell like a barbershop, but a building on fire. I've looked at the notes in the past. I just don't remember it. But I'm sure it's going to be like smoky, burnt wood, plus an aftershave. That's what I envision. Let's see what we get. That is what I get. I'll be damned. Exactly what I thought it would be is, is what it smells like in the opening. It's just okay. All this time of wanting to try it, and it doesn't excite me when I first smell it. It's good. I feel like Omeland from Happy Land, I feel like this was EJ's inspiration. And I think that's why it's deflating me because it's like, damn, this whole time I had EJ's version. May he rest in peace because it immediately reminds me of Omeland. Smoky, creamy fougere. Yeah. Honest to God, I like Happy Land Omeland more. Maybe because it's because it's denser, thick. EJ always uses used a high oil concentration. Man, I miss that guy. May he rest in peace. EJ was such a great guy. This reminds me of it. This reminds me of all. I think that's why it deflated me because immediately I thought of EJ. It's crazy. I think it's been almost a year. About a year. Close to a year since he's been gone. That's crazy. Yeah, this reminds me of Happy Land Homeland, which this came first. This came out like 09, 08, 2010, something like that, like way before Happy Land Studio was a thing. So this is clearly, and this has to be part of, if not the main part of, the inspiration for when he made Homeland. But EJ's is smokier, darker, and a thicker fragrance. I like Homeland more. Let's pull up the notes. All this time, I had no idea it was going to be like that. 08. 7.8 out, out of 10, 151 rating. Smoky. Yes, yeah, super smoky. Spicy, woody, fougere, resinous. Hemlock fir, lime and spearmint, lavender, Turkish rose, tuberose, burnt oil. Yeah, no shit. Hay and vanilla. That's an interesting note breakdown, and it does smell good. It's just immediately, it made me think of EJ and Homeland, one of EJ's creations. And I like EJ's version better. Now, I can't ask him, unfortunately, was this part of the inspiration? And he may have told me in the past, and I just don't re recall it. But it's quite similar. If you want what I think is a better take on this fragrance, get Happy Land Homeland. Yeah. It is good. I'm going to give it a 7. Some of you may be shocked. Very good, though. Very good rating. Very good fragrance. There's just a version out there that I think is better. That's 8 out of 10 better. You know, a whole point better. Because of the richness. Like I said, that higher oil concentration. It's good, though. It's very good, actually. Just not great, because it's not what I expect. I was expecting something different, but then I take that back. It was exactly what I expected. But it immediately reminded me of, like I said, it saddens me. Because, you know, may EJ rest in peace. It just saddens me. But it's still a very good fragrance. Seven out of ten. I will not be getting a bottle. So if I want to smell it, got a bottle over there. 
And another thing that kind of saddens me, Homeland Extreme, which is an even more extreme take on that fragrance. I think this is the main reason now that I think about it, why it deflated me. Some of you remember Man Shit, the fragrance EJ made for me. It smells kind of like that. But better. Way smokier. Way smokier. Ashy smoky in the opening. That's why I called it Man Shit. We went over the name. He's like, what do you think of Man Shit? I said, that is hilarious. Yes, let's use that. And it's still available. It's called Omland Extreme. If you want more of closer to that, go with Omland. But if you want an extreme, heavily, like, super smoky, uber masculine, building on fire for sure, <laughs> Omland Extreme, which is just a relabeling of man shit that he created for me. Shoot, beginning of 2020, end of 2019, beginning of 2020. Good times. Great guy. May he rest in peace. Great guy. So let's pick another one. Let's kind of lowered the mood here. Let's pick something else. ATH Boss Bastard. That should perk a few people up because I know you guys are always wanting me to try more from Aaron Terrence Hughes. So let's check out Boss Bastard. No clue what to expect. Couldn't tell you a single note or anything I've heard of about it. The only thing I know about Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances is you guys love them. Ooh, that is good out in the air. What is that? It's kind of candy-ish. It's got this fluffy, airy candy smell to it. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, because some of you might be like, what? It doesn't smell like that. Or, holy shit, yeah, it smells like that. I don't know. It's got this candied, sweet kind of smell to it out in the opening. Not like syrupy or anything like that. Got this, it's got to have like that clean skin accord that he likes to use in his fragrances. I feel like that's what I'm picking up with it as well. And a lot of it. It's very clean yet candy sweet. Kind of sounds contradictory and strange, right? But it's kind of how it's coming across to me at the same time, though. Oh, this is good. This is good. Very playful scent. Nothing serious. I bet this pulls some compliments for people. Any of you that have Boss Basher, what do you think about it? Type it in the comments. We'll get to those in just a minute. I like this one a lot. It's a very upbeat fragrance. Seven point six out of ten hundred eighty four ratings. Woody sweet, spicy, citrus, fruity. There you go. I would have not guessed tobacco, but then again, similar to Reflection Man, I get a little bit. Yeah, on the paper, a little bit, but on skin, I might get a closer relation. But Mandarin Orange, Bergamot Lemon, Tobacco Cedarwood Amber, Cocoa Musk, Sandalwood Vetiver. It's got this candy-like citrus. It's a very sweet citrus. It's really good. It was really, really good. I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 on this one. Boss Bastard's damn good. Like, damn good. Very playful, though. Very playful scent. This is one of those casual night out type things. You know, top golf, bowling, movies, go and have drinks. Nothing serious. No date nights and things like that. Casual night out. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Reflection Man, eh, a little bit on the test strip. Maybe on skin I'll get more, but I don't know. We'll do more than five. We're only 39 minutes in. We'll do maybe six. We're four fragrances in already. All right, where was I? Oh, all of these would smell different on skin, I'm sure. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that, Randy. Damn. Um, what I was going to pick is the tiebreaker because I already have one on hand. Ended up getting another vote. Right after I made that comment, somebody else voted for Coco Loco. So it worked out because I have Coco Loco on hand already. I was already going to do that as the tiebreaker. So it's going to be Coco Loco. 
is going to be the main prize. And we're going to do three spins. Since I have those two different bottles from Day 3 Fragrances, there's going to be three spins for the Hall of Fame tier. One's going to be La Tacita de Café. Probably be the second spin. The third spin will be Bani. So you have Coco Loco one spin, Bani another spin. La, La Tacita de Café is a third spin. So anybody in the Hall of Fame tier is going to have six spins they're going to be eligible for because you're also eligible for the All-Star tier spins as well, which is um, 100 ml of... Where's that? 100 ml of strong with you, absolutely, which was hands down the clear cut winner. A 75 ml of sealed bottle of Profondo, previous formula, um, before they changed the new bottles that it says Profondo Eau de Parfum, the previous version. And then third spins the mystery package as per usual. So everything got a little bit of a bump this month because we've got so many eligible we've got right over 60 eligible for the all-star tier and right over 30 like 31 32 eligible for the hall of fame tier right around 105 106 107 members something like that not everybody's eligible in that number but like i said we've got instead of adding a fourth spin i just kind of increased the value instead of doing the cheapy one with another designer for the second spin and instead of increasing the value with the hall of fame tier i just added another spin basically so we got some cool shit this month. It's always some cool shit, but I think it's really cool shit this month, personally. I want to try that, too. I've tried every single one of EJ. I have every fragrance EJ's ever made, including some unreleased stuff. Yeah. I have all of his creations. Most of the time, I did the launch videos when he put something new out. Most of the time. Great choice. So far, so good. I like nitro red. I want to get green and blue next. I appreciate that. Ambassador, great choice. I wore Ambassador a couple days ago. My bottle's right here. I love it. It's a great fragrance. Welcome, by the way. Oh, wow. Somebody's going to buy it. Let them know, my man. Look at Jared. Jesus Christ. I, I Not to it yet, but I see it. Bishop, you got your damn mind. My God. Jared Miller, the gift that keeps on giving. Excellent choice, Kyler. Musk therapy. No, that one isn't good. Which which one? What are you talking about? Happy, happy Good Friday to you, sir. Oh, you're talking about Boss Bastard? You don't like it? I like it on the paper. It smells good to me. I like it. It's got like a candied lemon going on. I think I like it. And this crazy SOB with the $50 super chat, the Bishop Jared Miller. Thank God for real fragrance reviews and reviewers and the endless work you put in. I appreciate that. My man. Thank you, sir. Uh, like I said, you are the gift that keeps on giving my friend. Very kind, very generous with all your typical contributions on top of that. Um, you go above and beyond, sir, and I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Jared for the win. Yeah, no shit. Uh, so I was just smelling Aaron Terrence Hughes Boss Bastard. We've been through four fragrances so far, and I gave it an 8 out of 10. I like it. Apparently, a few people don't like it <laughs> in the chat, like uh, like Terrence, uh, attention span. He didn't care for it. He said, no, that one isn't good. Yeah, he definitely did. Approachable yet very high quality. That's a good way to look at it. That makes sense on why Aaron's fragrances get so much praise. So daddy's in the box. I don't know if we're going to end up grabbing it or not, but that's in here. And whatever's in the box is going to stay for next week. We're going to do another one of these next week. I'll start trying to do them once a week because I have so many decants. Like Jeremiah alone sent me like 50 decants. People send me decants all the time. And I get random carded samples all the time too. Climbing my entire collection already in my top five. So I'm kind of hoping I end up grabbing Daddy then so I can uh, smell that one. It's in there somewhere. Mm. An alternative. I mean, it's 50, it's around 50 bucks and it's great. I would recommend that. I would recommend Mercedes Benz Club Black specifically. No, I, I don't have an answer for you. It's Rhino 20. I don't have an answer for you, my man. 
I mean, maybe somebody else in the chat's tried a twenty or thirty dollar fragrance that smells like Mercedes Benz Club Black, but I mean, man, it's been it's been the fifty, fifty five, sixty, depending on your area where it, what it costs for the discounters, and get that, you know. And I hope what you're about to tell me is because it doesn't perform and it's a 30 minute fragrance on you. I hope that's not why you're saying this. Cause that's, you're going nose blind, my man. That's not a weak fragrance. It's not a beast, but it's not a weak fragrance either. So I don't know if the, I'm assuming right now. I hope that's not the issue. That's a beautiful fragrance. It's I've dubbed it. I've said it many times over the years for the money, probably the best affordable vanilla you can get. I think it's great for sure. I think uh, I think a lot of these aren't. So I got uh, so he's not around anymore. But Ken, I haven't seen him in a long time. He sent me a ton of decants a while back, and all the ATH stuff that I tried before was from him. That came out of this bag. So the ATH fragrances in here. Can, it, now, Dad, I think Boss Bastard came from you, but like Daddy and and I forgot what I think Fake and Daddy are in here. Those came from him. Like the yellow tape ones, those came from him. Boss Bastard came from you, I believe, Jeremiah. I'm telling you, I get decants. I got boxes and boxes of decants. The stuff I've never even tried. I just get them. I get so much stuff. So I said, why not? He's going to make tobacco extreme in place of it. That's interesting. I didn't get corn tortilla from it. I didn't really get cocoa from it. Maybe on skin I would. Oh, nothing. Test strips never do anything justice. I just don't want to put a bunch of stuff on skin right now. I expect his fragrances to be blended perfectly. I'd love to try one. So, hype stuff, man. People really like his fragrances. Shipping. Yeah, because it's coming from the UK. But Max Aroma carries his stuff here in the States. Santa Claus. Come on now. I don't know. Am, am I the one that give, does the most giveaways? I don't know. We're doing a giveaway. We got a giveaway going this morning, too. So, Dossier, they got the new 100 mLs. That smelled great last night. Because I, I recorded that last night. My hands were smelling great the rest of the night. Man, that golden rum and amber, whew, I think that's my favorite of their originals now. That The the freshy, the, the grapefruit zing, ginger and grapefruit zing. That's close, but as far as more interesting, the golden rum and amber is more interesting. It's a better fragrance. This the freshie is just more wearable. But that's my two favorite originals from them. Dossier's originals, man. They're doing some good shit. I gotta say, gotta give it to them. They get the soft live stream clap. Dossier's been doing some good shit. All right, let's find a good stopping point. Good to see you, sir. And we're gonna go ahead and get into another one, Paul. Good to see you, my man. Happy Friday to you as well. Only ones of his I like were Maverick and Guapo, but not enough to buy a bottle. That's fair. So Hoffman's either renewed or he's the one that got the gifted membership from John. <laughs> oh, Paul got it. Okay, so John hooked, Paul ended up getting hooked up by John and Hoffman renewed is what it was. Cool, cool deal. Welcome and welcome back. And thank you. So we got thank you to John. Welcome to Paul, who's always here anyways. Um, now he can be in the member stream at the end of the month, which we're doing Sunday morning. We do the member stream Sunday morning, 9 or 10 o'clock, something like that. That way everybody can go on about their day. I typically try to do them in the morning and the weekends, unless the end of the month falls weird. Sometimes we end up having to do it during the week. Um, and then welcome back to Hoffman Virtual Photography. Jared is indeed the man, I got to say. Jared's the reason I have a bottle of Baby Cat. Overly generous. Wearing Oud Wood. Great choice. I wore two, both versions of Ombre Leather this week. I wore a couple Tom Fords myself. Vetiver Sensual, great choice. Picked up Lemon Lime. Ter Hermes Parfum. Masoni Wave. Labola Parfum and Hawass Ice. You get the soft live stream clap, too. That's a hell of a haul, man. I like everything. Everything here. I like them all. That's all good stuff. You did very, very well, in my opinion. Eros Parfum and Heritage EDT on the Easter BOGO. Who else got them too? Um, I already have Heritage EDT I saw and I debated. I grabbed 
Kinzo Own Marine, Toy Two Pearl, Bertus Bois et Qui, I believe. I'll, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Their Aventus, and then Atelier Cologne's Musk Imperial, their Aventus. So I've been wanting to get that one. I've been waiting on it to come back in stock. So speaking of somebody's Aventus, there's Toomey's Aventus, 19 degree, which is my favorite Toomey fragrance. I love all the twists and manipulations and kind of smells like Aventus. Or this is clearly their Aventus. I'm telling you, Aventus, there's an argument. And I'm with the argument of it being the greatest DNA ever. Club Black's 44 and Joma. It's the cheapest I've ever seen it. Normally, I see it for like 52. That's that's cheap. Eight more likes. Hell yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do. It's it's a combination of your skin chemistry and your nose is super sensitive to where it wears out quick. If you if nothing you wear you ever smell beyond 30 minutes, it is definitely not the, obviously you understand it's not the fragrance. You know, it's your nose is what it comes down to. Your nose is hypersensitive to these aromas and it wears out quick. I think that's reality of what it is. Noted. Let's get the likes up. Slap that like if you haven't already. All right, so I'm trying to find a decent spot to stop. Let me scroll down a little bit. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. My apologies. All right, so I'm going to stop right here. I really want to try Boss Bitch, but it's so much and no 10 mLs in stock. No more ATH till 2025. Damn. All right, let's grab this. What is it? Montal's Vetiver Patchouli. Okay, then. Let's see what we're working with here. I've yet to come across a Montal I didn't at least kind of like. Maybe I won't like this one. It depends on how earthy this is. Vetiver and patchouli sounds like it would be an earthy fragrance, not a fresh one. So we're about to find out. It is not earthy. It's actually clean and fresh. At least in the opening. I actually don't get a whole lot of anything. Let's saturate this bastard. It could be a decant that's kind of spoiling because obviously there was more in here than this. Might be an old decant because decants spoil quick, guys. Even if you use the syringes and stuff to draw them out the bottles, decants spoil quickly because these aren't sealed the same way as bottles. No, it's the same smell. It doesn't matter how many times I spray it. Fresh, woodsy, and clean. Very generic and basic. It's probably the test strip. Could be my nose because I've smelled four relatively strong fragrances so far. Could be a combination of the two. I do get some citrus. Juicy. Very juicy citrus. Not at all what I expected it to smell like with a name like Vetiver Patchouli. Any of you guys tried this one before? Let's look at these notes. Obviously, Vetiver and Patchouli is in there. Green, fresh. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Earthy, not yet. Woody and spicy. Patchouli, vetiver, carrot. Pink pepper, jasmine. What's this juicy citrus smell I'm getting? Green, though. Yeah, I totally get green. But aside from patchouli, what's green? Well, vetiver could be, but it's actually got a very fresh, grassy green smell to it. But I also get a little bit of a citrus. Like on paper, this is going to sound crazy. Kind of ch. 212 men a little bit apparently it's similar to this Louis Vuitton fragrance it's similar to Orage I don't get Orage from this not on the test strip on skin I might though because Orage I think is phenomenal phenomenal you hear me had to get all up on the mic to let you hear that yeah that's the next Louis Vuitton bottle whenever I decide to finally pull the trigger it's going to be that fragrance and I have a boxed sample so I'm gonna need to compare these two on skin to see how accurate because if this smells really close to that I'll just get this on paper though not really fresh green and a little citrus I don't get the darker tones to this and I hate to rate it like this 
This is the one that I have to put on skin because I, I get almost nothing on the test strip to where whatever I rate, it's going to be a detriment because it's not going to get anything special because I don't get really anything from it. So NWO logo has got a nice spritz. We're going to let some of that alcohol wear off. So this is a situation where I kind of had to put it on skin just so I can appropriately kind of judge this early stage. I mean, that's the whole point of what I'm doing here. Honestly, it's kind of like it was on, on the test strip. It might be my nose is wearing out. Could be that. Because I get a soft green woody smell, and that's it. And Montal fragrances are strong. So this might have to be the last one. I think my nose is wearing out. I think the combination of aromas in this particular set of decants has war has given me olfactive fatigue. It's wore me out. I'm not even able to properly judge this one. It's so faint. I got to really sniff hard to get a little bit of earthiness. I'm having to sniff way too hard. We're going to put that one back in the box and judge that one again on another date because that's not going to be fair to that fragrance because I barely get anything. That's unfortunate. So we're going to revisit that one. We're going to start with this one next week when we do another decant. So, so we'll do that one plus five others. We'll do six next time because I, I just I hate to do that to vetiver patchouli because I can't smell it. I mean, I poquito, a little bit. I kind of get a little bit of orage now, but I mean, I'm all up on my skin sniffing harder than I would like to. I'm not able to really like dive through the aroma because you want to lightly sniff and kind of just deep dive through it. It's coming to me more and more. We're going to save it for next time. I, I don't want to do it because I'm not going to be able to give it a good enough grade. And it's not about if it deserves a bad grade, I'll give it a bad grade, but I don't think it's going to. I'm not able to properly get what I need to get to judge it. So Torta. I need is a great vanilla for sure. A great, great vanilla. Gold Prestigium. Never tried that one. Richie Cleats. Dua Aphrodisiac number six. So Torta. Addicted to his version of Oajan. Okay, so I'm going backwards. Hopefully I win raffle on Sunday. It would be a wonderful birthday gift for me since my birthday is on Saturday. Well, since tomorrow is your birthday and I won't be streaming tomorrow, happy birthday, sir. Roses Vani, Al Haramine Gold Edition. Uh, it started at 4.30 Central. So in two minutes, it will have been one hour that we've been rolling. I just spray it into the decant. Is there a proper way to do it? Because that can't be it. No. So um, hold that thought. They're not far. They're not far away. Let me grab one because I have some. I finally found mine the other day. Because I knew I had some of the syringes. I just didn't know where the hell they were. But there's actually syringes for this. Like you can get these little syringes and you're going to want to, and there's particular little needles that will go into the top of the atomizer stem. So you're going to take the cap, the top part of an atomizer off the bottle. And you can't do this on every fragrance. Like think 1 million fragrances, Invictus fragrances. Like you can't do that on all of them. Some of them you just have to spray. But the right way is you'll go in through the stem. You're going to depress it like you're pumping at one time and you can just draw. And then you put it in your decant. That's really the proper way to do it. Put that to the side. That's the proper way to do it. You can get away with just doing the sprays, but just know that you kill off some of the top note for whomever you're uh, giving that decant to. You're going to kill off the top note just spraying it. When you atomize it, it opens the fragrance up. Let's see, where was I? Hello from India. How are you, sir? 
Inspirations are unbelievably spot on. Got Orage on the way and Lamentate. Lamentate is really good. I have Lamentate. Hayati by Latafa. My pleasure, sir. Yeah, you can find them cheap. Uh, they're just oral, oral syringes, basically, is what it comes down to. But you can look specifically for decanting stuff, um, perfume decanting. And there's actual, like, you can go to Amazon and look around, but or you could check eBay, but there's certain sites that specialize in it. You just got to search around. I mean, I bought that stuff years ago. I've had it for so long. Yes, I think it's one of the best, most timeless of masculine fragrances ever. It's it's an incredible fougere, um, spicy green, creamy aromatic. It's a lot of fragrances smell like one another. That one is smells like most other great aromatic fougeres. They all kind of share a similar DNA, but that's Chanel's take on it. They did great with it. Platinum Iglesias is phenomenal. <clears throat> So when you saw it, that was when I first set it. I first set it up at 5 Central this morning. Then around lunchtime, I changed it to 30 minutes early because the way the day was going to shake out, I was going to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs for two hours waiting to go stream. <clears throat> so it changed. The time changed about six hours ago for the live stream. Which uh, which tier did you go to? It's whatever whatever you're eligible for is whatever tier you upgraded to. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Because when I first set it up this morning, yeah, it was. And then like two or three hours later while I was at the gym, the timeline kind of shook out to what I had to do after the gym to where I was going to just be twiddling my thumbs for almost two hours. I'm like, eh, I can go live a little sooner. All-star. So that's the designer tier. It's all the designer stuff you heard me talk about at the all-star tier earlier, which was the 100 ml. The main prize is the 100 ml of Strong With You Absolutely. Second prize, 75 ml of Profondo. Third prize is a mystery pack of decants and samples that I put together. You're eligible for those three. So the Hall of Fame tier is niche. So you upgraded to the $25 tier, unless you're on an Apple device because Apple charges more weird because the if you're on an apple device that's not the prices that's apple charging you a fee on top of what these tiers cost for the membership um so you're going to be eligible for all six you're eligible for the three i just mentioned um and then the three niche on the niche tier the hall of fame tier is a uh, 60 ml of coco loco second prize it, second, third spin, whichever one we do first is what we do first. But day three fragrances by me and day three fragrances La Tacita de Cafe. So we got three luxury fragrances in that tier. And then let's say you win one of those. You come off the wheel. You can't because you can't win twice. So you're not good. Let's say you win the very first thing. You win Coco Loco. You're not eligible for the next five spins. Like once you win, you're out. Can't win twice. You can win again next month. But for that stream with the, with the wheel because there's two wheels for the two tiers the two levels <clears throat> it's not for everybody it's not it's people that love it love it myself and people that don't love it don't like it at all it's it i don't think there's a gray area with that one good yeah because anybody that when you when you renew or sign up for the memberships and not just on my channel, it, across YouTube, try to not do it from an Apple device or Apple computer because Apple charges a fee. So like prime example, the all-star tier, the designer tier is $9.99. I think it's like $12 or $13.99 if you do it through an Apple device because Apple charges Google a fee, which they then pass along to you because <laughs> they're not going to pay it. Uh, yes, I don't care for all fragrances. Uh, some of their offerings are pretty good, but I got away from them years ago years ago yeah for sure but you can go like jared went on a stretch three months in a row of winning josh has won multiple times um not back to he did he win back to back the last two months i think so but there's a we've had multiple winners we've had obviously first time winners you never know we, we do a, a members only live stream even those that aren't eligible for the spins are able to come to the live stream it's for all members so
Hmm. We're talking about prime trios, like these trios at their their prime, the peak for each of them. I would probably go Romo, Des Bryant, Witten. Yep. Because for the drop off from Breeze to Romo, it's made up for in big plays and number of touchdowns from Des Bryant to Colston. And then Witten was a PPR. If this is a PPR league, Witten's a PPR darling over Jimmy Graham and Tony Gonzalez, where Jimmy Graham was more touchdown heavy. Jason Witten was more, more receptions. So the, I think the balance is the Cowboy triplets right there. Uh, somewhat. Somewhat. I literally just bought a 3070 that I put in last night in my, in my, uh, my desktop, and I just upgraded my capture card to an Elgato 4K60 from the um, – the 1080p one that I had before. Well, yeah, very much. Very much it does. Base of Rosé and Signature Porn. Hell yeah. Well, you, you can't win everything all the time. <laughs> Support the channel more, but hey, the perks ain't bad. Well, I, I appreciate that, but that's part of the benefit because it's it's a, a win for everyone. Google gets 30%. <laughs> they take their cut. Um, I take the majority of what Google doesn't take and I put towards these fragrances, unless it's something I have on hand already. Um, but most of the time it's like, I would say at least half of the stuff I end up buying. Sometimes I end up having, having to buy everything. It all depends, but that's what a lot of that money goes to. And of course, a portion I keep as well goes towards, and I just buy stuff with it anyway. That's why I buy these fragrance halls all the time, the super chats and the stuff that's left over from membership money. That's what I allocate to all these fragrance halls. So it all gets put back into the channel. You know, I'm constantly putting back into the channel. I've never tried it. Because I'm not a big interlude fan. I was on a roll. Yes, you were. Wait, oof, man, <laughs> what a unique fresh fragrance. Dense, too. Very fresh, but dense and juicy and lasts a long time. A lot of naturals in there, too. She uses a lot of naturals. They're pricey. They're good, though. My Greek lover is the one. White grape and quince. Lip smacking good. Yeah, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's so unique. It's so unique. I've never smelled another fresh, fresh fragrance that smells like it. Oh, I think... Um, it's the standard for tropical coconut-based fragrances. I think it is the mold, and everybody else is trying to fill the mold. There's a ton of great coconut-dominant tropical fragrances out there. I love them. A ton of them. But the end-all, be-all, king of the mountain is Virgin Island Water. Even current formulas. Current form I, I've never had performance issues with it. I have a decant, a 10 ml decant of a batch from like a year and a half, two years ago. I have a 2018 50 ml bottle. Shout outs to Hillary. I bought that from her, bought her partial. And um, both eight plus hours, rich, rich aromas on me. Virgin Island Waters, it's, it's a goaded fragrance to me. I think it's amazing. Versus Silver Mountain Water, I would take, I would take Virgin Island Water only because I would take Mephisto over Silver Mountain Water. I do love Silver Mountain Water. But if I had to pick between Virgin Island Water and Silver Mountain, I'm taking Virgin Island Water. Oh, yeah. No worries. I appreciate it. I don't have it. Like, anytime I get sent something and I end up reviewing it, it's not always an affiliate link. Even, and it's not always an affiliate code. Sometimes it's just there for convenience if, I, if there's a code. And sometimes I just have whatever the link to the site is. It's not not everything's about making this a dollar and all that. Hey, don't get me wrong. I want to make the dollars. But that's not the end all be all. It comes down to you guys have heard me say this before. When I do something, it's got to benefit all three parties in some form or fashion because the brand's benefits obvious. They're hoping I like it. They're hoping you guys want to buy it because I like it. That's what a brand wants. That's why they're sending it in the first place. But it's got to benefit me in some form or fashion. People got to want to see it. I have to be interested in it. If I can make a few bucks along the way, that's phenomenal. If not, I still have to be interested in the first place. And then secondly, it's got to benefit you guys in some form or fashion. 
most notably trying to get these discount codes, you know. So in the event y'all do want to check something out, there's a benefit there for you, you know. That's how I try to do things. That's all three parties have to benefit. Yeah, it's really good, man. Really good. I'm pretty sure I would like my Greek love. You probably would. I'm doing well. Kate Alfresan, great choice. Pineapple spice and woods. For hot weather, would you say wild fruits or aqua? I would say wild fruits would be better. I can't wait for summertime. That is going to be in my rotation over aqua wood. Aqua wood's a better year round scent, but wild fruits, that's like the au fraiche flanker to Cedrat Boisset. That's how I view it. I very much view it that way. I, I love it. It's an underappreciated Mancera, and I am so going to wear it during the summer. I would think Italian citrus would be appropriate. Something bergamot lemon heavy. That's what I would think. It's not going to be cold. Fits the theme of where you're at. Citruses and greens, fresh. That's what I would think. Good to see you, sir. I totally agree. I couldn't agree more. What about MFK? Unique incense scent. Roos. You must be hanging with my trees. <laughs> you love it. I wish Banana Republic Tonka Bean had good performance. I actually get pretty good performance out of it, like six, seven hours. Everybody gets different, though. Everybody's nose wears out quicker. You know, some wear out quicker than others. Some don't wear out at all. We had a guy in here earlier. No matter what he sprays, he can't smell it after 30 minutes. Everybody's different, you know. No, it wouldn't be too heavy. But wild fruits, I just think is better if we're talking summertime. I think um, spring and fall ideal the transitional seasons i think are ideal for aqua wood works fine in the summer but i think the like weather right now that i'm having in the 70s great aqua wood weather wild fruits shine in the heat curious about what hmm i mean i think tiger is better as far as how does it stack up, they're not the same fragrance because uh, Lamentite is, I mean, it's more complex. There's more going on. A lot of people would probably disagree with me, but I just love the way Tigar smells. That spicy citrus and the Ambroxan just, it does it for me, man. It just does personally. Shagaf. <laughs> for sure. I appreciate you, my man. You got a great girl, too. For those of you that don't know, uh, his girlfriend reached out to me before his birthday to do a little video message for him for his birthday not long ago. <clears throat> I feel like you'd rain intense and song from Italy Bedrange. Hmm. Never tried it. Never looked into it. Rain intense in sauce. I was correcting myself from a comment you missed, but I was saying... I use that Twisted Lily code, TLTG10. Sure appreciate that, sir. Sure appreciate that. Based on shoving your nose into your skin and calling it completely gone. Now, if I have to do this to smell it, it's over. If I can hover and still get it, it's just a close skin scent. It's not faint and gone. Because you got to remember, if it's something I've been wearing for hours and hours, there is a level of sensitivity that I, that I have succumbed to with my nose. There's different levels to it for different fragrances, different days. Just how it, It's different. The same fragrance, your, your nose sensitivity may change from day to day if you're wearing the same fragrance every day for a week. Might be a slightly different experience each day. Point being, if I got to do this, it's over. If I can get about here and still get it easily, it's not a faint skin scent yet. Projection's long gone. If I, if I got to get here to smell it. Now, if I can do one of these moves, kind of just waft it by and it hits me. Okay. We're in the, we're, it's, we're in the siage. Now, if I can smell it without having to bring anything up to my face, the projection still, still happening. Like there's a lot of things that go into it. If I'm consciously trying to test something, 
there's a lot of methods to the madness. It depends on the style of the fragrance and how it is early. How is it in the first 10 minutes to 30 minutes for me is going to determine how I feel like I have to go back and look for it. Or is it constantly, am I constantly smelling it already? Is it constantly reminding me? Do I like if, if I forget about it, that means I have to go look for it. Like if I'm consciously testing something, that's how I view it. Like the moment I don't smell it and I have to go looking for it, the projection's pretty much gone at that point. And a lot of the times it could be due to olfactive fatigue as well. So I usually involve my wife a lot when I'm actively testing something because I'm around my wife most of the time. Um, so I'm able to get her feedback on how well she can smell it when I walk by. Like she let me know earlier, 10, 15 minutes after, which I'm not testing this right now. It was just funny. 10 minutes after I left the room, when I came back, she was like, that, I still smell this in the room. Just wanted to let you know. And I hadn't entered the room back. I was actually in the kitchen when I came back and she told me that. So this lingered, which I had just sprayed on 10, 15 minutes before. So, of course, it was really strong. But that was just five sprays of this. You don't have to spray stuff 15, 20 times people to smell you that's crazy talk <laughs> that's just wanting an obnoxious scent cloud you know what's up Sally cell how are you sir i have rouge smoking i've tried to back rose i had a decant citrus riviera i tried once i don't remember it um grease charnel extrait i currently have a decant of and i've tried the edp as well and I want a bottle of Grease Charnel Extra. I will get that at some point this year. No worries, my man. I mean, we're hanging out for probably another 13 minutes. We'll go to about an hour and a half. Almost animalistic, intense. Haven't found an occasion to wear it, but it smells gorgeous. I have a bunch of fragrances that are such a limited use for me that I love. Appreciate, because I just love aromas. I love to smell them. I don't have to wear them to enjoy them. I can go pull a cap. I can go just give a spritz on my hand. And sniff it for the evening. I get joy out of just smelling stuff. That's it's part of being an enthusiast. I love to smell different aromas. It's what it is. Um, I got tons of fragrances that I, I would rank a nine out of ten or better that I just don't wear. I never wear. I haven't worn in years, but boy, I still praise and love. I still give all the credit to for how great they are because. Just because something is amazing doesn't mean it suits my everyday life or I have the situation because I'm so situational and seasonal. I'm very situational and I'm very seasonal with my fragrances. Um, so if those situations and seasons don't arise, I never wear the stuff. Dior Homme Parfum I wear like twice a year. It's one of the greatest fragrances ever created to me. I only wear it like twice a year, maybe three times if I'm feeling frisky. You know, Dior Homme Intense I wear maybe once a year. Dior, oh, once or twice a year. And I, I, I hold that line, the iris fragrances of that line, in such high regard. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can appreciate and enjoy these fragrances without having full wearing experiences. It's a little different for me. Where some may view that as crazy talk. All good. Everybody's right to their opinion. It's more than just a wearing experience for me. Of course, a wearing experience is number one most important. But... Again, not every situation that I deem things necessary for arise to wear said fragrances that I really enjoy. That's why a lot of these mass appealing daily wear fragrances are what I gravitate to more because that's more of my everyday life. This type of stuff fits my situation better. That's how I judge it too, but I could see sometimes longevity longer if they shove their nostrils in. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, if you're going that far with it, sure. Like when you hear me say something went 10 hours on me, I was able to do one of these moves and smell it still at that point. Or my favorite is when I get in the shower and the water hits me and the fragrance comes to life. Water hits those dried up oils on skin and just all of a sudden the whole shower because you're inside the shower curtain and everything. So it just wakes the fragrance up. I love that. It's like spraying your fragrance all over again. It's not every fragrance, but it's usually these higher quality fragrances. Like uh, one big culprit of that is like when I wear rosé. Oh, man, that thing comes to life quick. It's like I just sprayed it. Vanilla Oud's like that, too. Comes back to life in a, with a vengeance when you jump in the shower, even if it's been 12, 13 hours later. I don't have one particular 
that's the thing. There's no, there isn't one particular um, because there's a ton of them that I enjoy. Pretty much this whole line, minus the original and Profondo, but like um, Profumo in this, I would say are phenomenal for all year round. Like could literally what I'm wearing today could throw that in that category, and I'm quite enjoying this. I don't care who likes it, who doesn't like it. Bad Boy Cobalt, man. This is a great everyday year-round fragrance. I'm super late to the party, but I, I'm in love with this fragrance. I so enjoyed my wearing a couple of days ago. This is really good. This is my kind of stuff. Opens up a little bit like Invictus Platinum, dries down Coach for Men. True blue. That color is legit. And it surprises me that the sweetness fades. It doesn't stay the whole time. You get the sweetness early. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Not off the top of my head, no. Last time I won a football championship was two or three years ago. Three years ago? Three seasons ago? Let's see. Give me a moment. Oh, they updated the site. Pull up my league. I'll tell you what year it was because we got the plaque on the home page. Uh, 2020. So it's been three seasons because we have the 2024 season. Yeah, uh, 2020 was the last season that I won in that league. This is my dynasty league. Um, I've got three Super Bowls with eight appearances in 13 years. 13 years I've been to eight Super Bowls and I won three of them. I'm like LeBron. I go all the time, but I never I hardly ever win. <laughs> go all the time, but I've only won a few in that league. But that's our main league. Like we're gonna be drafting the weekend after the NFL draft. We're drafting because we draft rookies and free agents. It's a, for those of you that haven't heard before, it's a 40 man roster, full IDP. The only thing we don't have is O linemen and punters. We got tackles, ends, linebackers, corners, safeties. We don't have a big free agency. Free agencies, people we've cut over the years. There's a free agent offense and free agent defense you make trades with throughout the year. We can trade picks all the way to seven years down. Seven round draft, eight man league, 56 picks in a draft. <clears throat> like I could trade my third round pick three year from three years from now in a package deal with multiple other things and players and all that shit. And we draft according to where you finish. So champ drafts eight, and it's not a snake draft. He's the eighth pick in each round, whoever won. Last in the league's first first pick of each round. And you can trade for it. Like sec, who, who finished second to last doesn't have the pick. My cousin has the pick. He traded for it. So no, no fragrance, sweet lipstick, Irish lovers, niche, high quality, lovely presentation. But you have to love Dior Homme OG, which I very much do, Dennis. Uh, so the biggest difference is this isn't as incense heavy. This is more about rosemary and more aquatic. It's more green, spicy, fresh. It's not as dark. This one's better in the summer than Profumo. Profumo is better in cooler weather. Like they have, you can have both. If you just really love Profumo, this is fresher Profumo. I'm happy to have both. No worries. Who? That's tough. They got a lot of good ones. Have you ever tried Sicily? Hmm. Or Wave Musk. Wild fruits. I could go on and on. I got some good stuff. Melody of the Sun. Underrated. Good stuff. Yeah, a lot of good ones. Those all come to mind right away. They're really good. Look at some note breakdowns. I got a few. I got the. I got videos featuring all the ones I mentioned. Yeah, they got some great stuff. Man, Sarah doesn't get enough love for all the freshies they got. They got some good ones. Oh, I bet. 
Yeah, you know, that's super heavy. Kind of is. I prefer Mephisto. I like it more. You take away the herbal tea note, you lose the black currant, but you still, you st it's metallic but not inky. Loses the herbal tone, and the rose and iris give this nice powdery floral feel with the metallic musky citrus. Amazing. I take Zerz off of Mephisto over Silver Mountain Water 10 out of 10 times, and I love Silver Mountain Water. I just prefer Mephisto. Yeah, for sure. And that incense ties into it, too. Herbapura casual warm weather. My little, my little baby bottle right here of Herbapura. My little 15 ml. Herbapura. My little baby bottle. Yeah, warm weather. Spring, summer, early fall, casual, daytime. I'm not going to come at you, bro, because I'm with you on that. It's one of, it's hard to say the one, single greatest designer ever, but one of, one of the five best to me. I haven't tried anything from the brand, actually. I've been meaning to. I just haven't. Never tried that one. Satorta. And on Parfum's top three all time. Give a top ten. Two for me. It's hard to leave a top 10. Well, hello there, Boz. Wearing signature tobacco. Excellent choice. Yes. Yeah, that's literally why we stopped sniffing fragrances because my nose wore out. I can smell the patchouli now. My nose is coming back from Vetiver Patchouli, which we're still, we're going to save it because I'm sorry, we love the opening. But my nose was wearing out after the four decants that we did here on the fifth one. It was very hard to smell Montal better with patchouli. I even had to spray it on hand, and I couldn't smell it much, barely. So it does happen. Some days are worse than others. Some fragrances wear my nose out quicker than others. It all depends. So coffee beans seems to be the thing to refresh the nose, but I never found it made that much of a difference. That's why I don't do it anymore. I've tried to do it. It helps a little, I guess. I think it's more of a placebo effect than anything else it's rich and sweet you still get the plum from the regular one turn my chair enough the regular one's right there bad boy cobalt you still smell that dna but it's much thicker and sweeter it's more about vanilla and it's got a resinous tone to it it's great both bad boy cobalts are great like, great i quite enjoy them Fair. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I keep seeing it like in my comments from my Sin of the Day post uh, shorts video. Keep talking about performance, performance, performance. It lasted all day. I clocked it at 10 hours before I took a shower. It was not faint and falling off yet. It probably would have went to 11 or 10, 11, 12 hours. I have no performance issues with it. I just bought, so I have Oriental Rose. I have uh, Eau de Cyan, which is a very realistic, bitter aquatic seaweed fragrance. That's not for everybody. Um, of course, I have Vanilla Oud, but I just bought Bois Equi, I believe is how you say it. Their Aventus, basically. We'll pull it up. So Jason Vercher, it's all his fault. He sold me and Dedrick on it last night. Dedrick bought it last night. I bought it today. In the fragrance by sale. I waited till fragrance by sale started. Woody fresh, leathery, spicy, smoky. Doesn't that right right there sound good? Apple, bergamot, ivy, grapefruit, clary, sage, amber, cedar, cyclamen, jasmine, lavender, patchouli, animalic notes, oud, fur balsam, leather, musk, oak moss, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla. Yes, yes, more yes, please. This looks amazing. Jason Vercher. I'm going to put this on him. He put high praise on it. We value his opinion. He's a he's a good friend of, of myself and Dedrick. He said, and I quote, superior, better than his favorite compared to Sidrapoise and Aventus. All right, mf -er, That's what we're doing. I'm going to spend the money and test it out then. Okay. I'm not even going to buy a sample. I'm going to buy a bottle. I'm going to take it for your word, and we're going to see. 
we going to see. He's never led me astray. That's why I was like, all right, we're going to buy it then. Same thing happened to Dedrick. Dedrick bought it on in his live in the middle of his live stream last night. He bought it on his phone while he was live with Jared. So I bought it today. And uh, yeah, high hopes. When I looked at the notes, I was like, okay, this looks like a really good twist. That this is kind of like Aventus, but Virtus's take, count me in, sounds great. Imperium, Electimus is kind of like Aventus. It is great. Most brand, all the bond number nine ones, great. Bond number nine.com, amazing. Centipede's really good. When it comes to these niche brands doing a twist, like it kind of smells like Aventus, but not exactly, and it's got a bunch of other things going on with kind of like Aventus's DNA, they're usually amazing fragrances. And that's what this seems to be. So I'm really excited about it. Really, really excited about it. Like, really excited. One this year on a 12 teamer. Well, congratulations to you, sir. I have platinum told me cobalt was similar. Now I have now one I have to get me a bottle. Great explanation. It very much is like that. It'll it, now if you take away that herbal green feel that's in the opening of Invictus Platinum. If you like platinum, you know what I'm talking about. Take that away. And what's left of the profile, that's kind of what cobalt's opening is. And then after a little while, it shifts. When that plum fades, because that plum contributes to that like Invictus Platinum sweetness, when that plum starts to fade, it now look, cobalt is synthetic. Nothing natural smell. It smells like a synthetic fragrance, which helps tie it into Coach for Men. Coach for Men is very synthetic. But as it dries, it starts to smell more like that ambergris, amber wood, woodsy, fresh, blue, very fresh blue synthetic smell as it dries down. Very similar. It's the tale of two designers in one lightning-shaped bottle, blue gradient lightning-shaped bottle. It starts off, I would say, like 70%, 80% of Invictus Platinum and transitions into like 70, 80% coach for men. And it's great. I love it. 9.5. After giving it one full, I didn't give it that one the first time I smelled it, but when I gave it one full wearing experience, I fell in love with this fragrance. I literally wore it for the first time two, three days ago, whatever it is in the lineup right here, two days ago. Love it. We went to golf world here in PCB. We went to see the dolphin show and check out the birds and, sea lions and all that stuff and the penguins we went you know went check out a show during the day it was wednesday and that's what i wore me and the wife both enjoyed the fragrance it smells great love it top tier blue for me top 10 blue in my collection love it where am i picking sixth sixth fifth fifth because i made the playoffs but i was the lowest points in the semis so i'm gonna be the fifth pick yeah it was uh it was lovely led the league in scoring all but one week led the league in the power rankings i was number one in the power rankings every week except for one so naturally i wasn't going to win the championship of course not. Why would the most point-heavy team in the league win the championship? That's how that stuff goes. Every time I've ever been number one in the power rankings for the majority of the season, I haven't won. And that's what the hell happened. When it counted, my team shit the bed. Very good stuff, right? Detaily is great. Soli Detaily is great for the summer. Very airy, fresh. Chabon in Liberty Island on Joma for 109. Thought it was a good deal. Hell yeah. I don't know. It is pretty hard to find. It was it was lucky for a lot of us that got on that first uh, first bit that dropped with fragrance by. I was eager to get it. I need to throw that one back in rotation. It is good. It is good. It's one of my favorite designer releases. I don't know. I've only given one 10. Let's say it'll probably be a 9.5. It might be. You never know. It might be a 10. I won't write it off until I spend time with it. You know, I won't say it's not a 10 until it's not a 10. You never know. You might be right. 
and look, if you are right, you can say, I told you so. And I'll say, you know what? You sure did call it. Kind of. Kind of. It kind of reminds me uh, more of like a floral Dolce Gabbana light blue, actually. It's funny that you say that. Good to see you, Chad. Perseus reminds me of Terry Amaz with the strong orange. Noted. No worries, Chuck. No worries. Thanks for coming hang. I'm, I'm actually pretty close to the bottom, so I'm able to kind of take my time through them. I'm not too far behind. We're a little over an hour and a half. We're going to shut it down here in just a few. I'm going to try, you know, try to get caught up, and then we'll shut it down. <clears throat> uh, not to me. I like the Elixir a lot, but I like the original more. The originals are more situations for me to wear. Discount code for Bani. Uh, so it's still active. TLTG twenty. I it's not. I don't get a kickback. It's not an affiliate code, but uh, Mike made it for a few weeks. Um, just to you know something for anybody watching. It doesn't support the channel, but it's it's for you guys. You know what I mean. So if you want to check it out, yeah, TLTG twenty will save you twenty percent. And I would strongly encourage checking out Bani, even if you're just gonna get a sample or travel size. Absolutely check that one out. Not recommend and too pricey. Noted. Yeah, Kuba likes to go live on Instagram. I jumped in his in a. I was in the chat. I don't didn't jump on screen. One of these days, I'm gonna hit him with a video request and see if he lets me on, so I can fuck with him for a little bit. Because I jump in and say hello all the time. <clears throat> He's amazing. I have it. I agree with Jason and Jared. Well, damn, y'all just selling me further, man. Y'all are just selling me further. You know what? I might have to get with Dedrick and say, look, man, we need to just do a stream together when they come in. Let's just smell them together. I'm going to tell him that. So I don't forget. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm using my phone as a hotspot. <laughs> I have to do it after. I'm going to text him. Let's do a stream smelling this together. There he is. Yeah, you got pressure. You heard what I said. This is your fault. I took you at your word. I bought it today. Dedrick bought it last night. And I'm going to tell Dedrick we need to do this together on a live stream with your ass on screen. Your ass needs to sit there so we can look you in the face and say, you were right, sir. Oh, man, why you got me wasting money? It's going to be one of those two. I'm pretty sure it's going to be great. I'm I'm very excited. I'm sure you were here while we were looking at the notes. I'm very excited, Jason. I'm taking you at your word, man. I'm sure it's good. It was actually your sin of the day. Hell yeah. Good to see you, Esteban. How are you, sir? Caribbean Desire 2 by Dua. Have a good one, Hoffman. It was a pleasure to see you. We're hanging for a few more minutes. I'm just trying to get to the bottom. Well, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I feel like I willed that into existence. I mean, you were wearing it before you got here, right? Good to see you, though. What's up, Danielle? How are you doing? Hey, right back to you. I'm going to wave to you. Hey. Hey, Danielle. How are you? Real 10 got me stuck. So go to my video and look in the comments. Because I don't remember what it is, but it's some long-ass code. A couple people put the code in my comment section of my video. Go get the code. Because it's still you can still get buy one, get one 20% off. It's not the 30% off that it was this morning, and we're past the 25% point. But you got buy one, get one 20% for now. <clears throat> uh, Ryan, I'm sorry. I thought I clicked in. Yeah, Ryan, yeah, go, go to the comments on my video from this morning. A couple people put it in there. Bunny, I heard your review on it, Ross, and I knew I had to get my nose on it, and you're right. Fire. It's amazing, Scott. It's amazing. Like I said, he's got such a tall task to top that fragrance. Now, look, don't get me wrong. Downtown Deja Vu is such a 90s vibe. This really is good. Clean linen, powdery, fresh. This is good. This is really good. It's as advertised. This is great. For any of you 90s kids, you need to try this. Any of you fragrance enthusiasts that are 90s kids, man, this will remind you of Friday nights at the mall. After school, hanging with friends, going buy a couple of things, getting a pretzel, maybe getting a smoothie or some shit, getting a Cinnabon, going to the movies, hitting the arcade. This will remind you of it. That is for certain. Bad boy to work and it's versatile as well. It's basic though, but pumps out. Hell yeah, hell yeah. 
<clears throat> What's going on, Yoshi? Let's see. You ever attend those events like Sin Explorer? Uh, not since the first one in 2019. Yeah, uh, Refinery Fragrance. They're doing a little pop-up event, basically, is what it comes down to. Let's see, again, sport. Let's see, what's the strongest, most nuclear scent you own? On me, I would say Dark Orchid from Amarud is obnoxiously powerful on my skin. Crazy, crazy powerful. Uh, I just did some. Literally just did two of them in the last two weeks. It's got to go to my video page, big dog. Sure did. Neon's good, but sport. So, all right, we actually made it to the bottom. We're a little over an hour and a half. We did an hour 41, so it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch you all on Monday. That's going to be a wrap for the stream for this week. Appreciate everybody coming to hang out with me. Went over these decants and everything. I appreciate the conversation. Happy Good Friday to you. Happy Easter. Uh, tomorrow, happy birthday to Kix Griffey. Tomorrow is his birthday. But I uh, hope you all have a great Easter with your families. And I'll see you guys again on Monday. We'll do this thing again with some streams. Content will come out throughout the weekend. Y'all have a good one, guys. Don't forget to like the stream.